Hey guys, it's JQ Crafty. Welcome back for another Confessions of a Paper Edit Cut File Design Team layout. I have for you um, one of August release cut files. This is Build a Painting Cut File. So I've cut it out, um, all my pieces, out of Crepe Paper's Fresh Bouquet because I'm going to document my COVID construction. I think that's what people were calling it. A lot of people did <laughs> um, renos or something during their lockdown. I did because I had two weeks off and we'd been wanting to do this with our bedroom forever. So I have a ton of photos of the floors, of before and afters. And so I just need to figure out what photos I'm going to use for sure. Uh, and then... Because this is technically this part. It got cut off weird. They like cut off my photo. Sorry, I'm just trying to line this up. Because yeah, that's how it's supposed to look. As my before. So I don't know what happened there. but um, So I have a before and after. And I cut out the paint swatches. Um out of three of the pattern papers and then this is the brush one and it's dipped in this and I thought it was kind of funny though that it um it ended up going exact opposite of the way that went but <laughs> that's that so I have an idea of what I want to do just executing it is the question and which photos to use um yeah well, I probably can crop this down. I probably can just ditch this one because this shows enough of what we need. I'll figure that. I'll figure photos out. But I think, yeah, I think I can actually probably can line this up, glue it on there, and then crop it down. I think I'll do that. Figure this out. <laughs> um, but I don't need to make you watch me. So... about right all right there we go so now I have two photos I'll trim this one down so it is uh, less wide more of a narrow photo and I'll trim this one down a little bit and I think I'll use these um, but I'm going to create like a a COVID construction layout and then I might put um, these pr in progress of our floors um, Maybe I'll do that a different layout. I think we'll do that a different layout. Anywho, I'm rambling on. Let's get started. I apologize for all that rambling. That was just nonsense. It was just, that's what happens when I sit there and think. It, none of it makes sense and just random things come out of my mouth. Um, <laughs> so I'm putting some foam behind the paintbrush because I know for sure I want the paintbrush popped up. But, uh, like, I had I just picked my photos um, on camera, so I really wasn't sure what my layout would look like. I had an idea, but I ended up changing some things up, which is fine. It worked out perfect. I think it turned out okay. It's maybe not my favorite. It was just really hard um, to decide how I wanted to utilize the cup file and what I had. Um, Virginia's version of using this cup file was Stunning. If you guys haven't seen that, you should check it out. I'll have her channel linked down below. But I decided to kind of um, make it almost look like the paint is dripping from the ceiling. And I did, I chose to do these in pattern paper just because I thought that'd be a great way to bring color in because I wanted a neutral background. And yeah, I don't know. I, you have to tell me your thoughts on this. I think it turned out okay. It's definitely a little different, but I would love to hear your thoughts. I have other ideas maybe for this too. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I decided I needed to back it with, um, some black or frame the whole thing in black because I plan on using the alpha thickers that come with this collection for my title and they're black. And there's a lot of other little black elements and I cut the paintbrush handle out of black. Now you saw me in the beginning punching out this, a circle in the handle. It was supposed to cut. I somehow did not like keep the circle um, 
on in the cut file when I traced it, when I moved it over to uh, another page so that I could cut that out separately, I apparently did not take the circle with. So I just punched it. So if you forget it like me, you can just use a hole punch. So I'm covering my background in gesso because I want to add a little bit of color to the background, but I don't want to add a lot. And maybe this is where I could have probably just left this alone and not done this, but I wanted a little bit um, because these are paint dripping from the ceiling. It's got to look a little messy, right? It doesn't need to look super clean. So I gessoed my background and now I'm going to bring down my swatches and try to color match. So like nothing matches that deep blue with that white, that pink polka dot and the floral pattern. Nothing like I don't have... A swatch that looks like those um, but speckled egg matches that other color perfectly and maybe I should have just stuck with best speckled egg that would have been smart but I decided <laughs> to do a whole mishmash and good thing I gessoed because I put some down I have to pull it up with a paper towel because it was turning out too bright too dark so I put a little bit of speckled egg down and then I'm putting a little bit of evergreen bow I think and then rustic wilderness and another maybe peacock feathers or a lagoon and I was like oh yeah oh no that right hand side way too green like way too mountain green grass I don't know what I was thinking the left hand side is turning out kind of what I wanted it to be but yeah there isn't a really good I could have added some chip sapphire I guess to make it more navy but even chip sapphire isn't that navy it turns more purple when you add water to it and try to splash it around so yeah we need a good like deep actual teal that's what we need. I think I heard Vicky Booten the other day talking about that too. She needs like a good teal from um, Tim. We need a good teal and a good peach and an actual navy, like navy, navy, like dark, dark navy. So I fix it a little bit. I put a little more speckled egg down and then I'm also putting a little bit of sponge sugar just to add some pink to the background as well because there is that pink in the floral and that pink in the messy polka dot um, just to add something. I'm liking the way it's turning out better and it does fade a little bit as it dries so it works out but in in the end it's like did I really need to do that I don't know I don't think so but I like I like the effect it gives so I let that dry now I'm gonna glue down the background to this black so it's framed up yeah and the mixed media looks a little drastic right now it gets covered up uh it just is like a halo around my paint drips which like I said turns out to be okay now when I had rearranged it earlier I had the polka dot in the middle and the floral on the far right and I swapped them without realizing it but it's okay still works out I'm roughing up the edges of them to make them look a little distressed um my house was built in 1905 so it old um and when we were ripping up the carpet that was poorly laid it was too big of a rem I guess this I got a remnant and it was close enough that they just used it, but it was too big. So it, it always moved and buckled. So, and we had recently ripped up, um, well, my husband was at work and I was home and I said, I'm ripping the carpet in the hallway. He said, don't you dare. And then I sent him pictures of me doing it. He hates when I do that. <laughs> so I warned him knowing I was going to have two weeks furlough because of all the lockdowns and things. I work as um, in a nursing position at a clinic. So we had to just had people furlough just because the counts weren't there. Nobody was coming in, hardly seeing any patients. So I had two weeks off. I warned my husband, we're doing this. We are, we are redoing our bedroom. We wanted to do it from the beginning. I don't care what you say. And he was going to be home for a chunk of it. Um, which was helpful. He helped me with kind of the manual labor. If he wasn't there for a few days of it, we would have, and he's a 911 dispatcher. So he didn't really get furloughed ever, uh, because they had a lot of people out a lot. There's other people that needed furlough and he's a sergeant. So he kind of helps manage things. So he didn't really get to furlough, but he has days off and on. So he was, it was helpful to have him be available for the manual labor part. And then I painted the whole thing myself. And which I'm very proud of that and the way this turned out and I picked up I randomly went to Home Depot and found a rug that's like exactly the colors I wanted there was a deal from Nectar going on for a new is like the um, beds in a bag type thing and so all I'm doing right now sorry that I'm rambling on about my rental is gluing things down now I have this new it's like it's called AdTech crafters precision glue I wanted to use it I've had it sitting in my little stash of like glue and stuff and it's this clear glue. I was like, I thought I'd like it. Uh, it's, I hate it. 
<laughs> not the fact that it doesn't glue well. One, it doesn't dry very fast. So I, I end up having to shut my um, recording off and just let things dry because things still kept moving around and I weighted everything down. Um, and it's a clear glue, but it, um, the, the way they made the bottle is horrible. <laughs> There's like a stopper, but to get it out, you're covered in glue. And then you'd think that the way they have it designed with the lid, that the glue wouldn't come spilling out because there's like a stopper at the tip. No. And then the lid fills up. It's just, it's a mess. So I'm going to try and use it up. I don't want to waste it and throw it away. I'm going to try and use it up. So I've used it on this collection or this layout and I use it on um, a layout at the end of the month and some other ones just because I'm trying to use it up. I think it'll take a while to use up, but it's a decent glue. Like it holds, but man, it's messy. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't, but anyway, so I'm, I layered my photos together. I matted them, uh, on one of the pattern papers. And now I'm just going to play with stickers and ephemera and a little bit of the chipboard and start putting things around. My title is feeling grown up because we are finally. So what I was kind of saying before is we're finally making our bedroom the way we wanted it. It was, it wasn't horrible, but it was very dark. Um, you can kind of see that in the before photos, very dark, very sad. <laughs> it had navy blue walls on two of the walls and it just made the room really dark and it's a big room, but it doesn't look big when it's that dark. And a lot of times you can get away with it. And let me tell you, I love a good navy blue. Hence I was talking about needing a good navy blue, um, distress oxide. But it was just too dark and it's not what we wanted. And knowing that the floors were going to be, um, the carpet, we're going to rip up the carpet and that'll be a whole nother page about the floors. They didn't put drop cloths down when they put the texture on the ceiling and the floor was covered. Luckily I was able to get it all off. That took two days, but, um, that was a lot of work <laughs> and luckily we were getting a new bed. So we were able to ditch our bed. Well, it didn't take two days, I guess it only took, it took me a whole day to clean the, just clean the floors. Um, so luckily we were able to get our old bed out, clean the floors. The new bed arrived we were able to set it up. We were up pretty late doing that. Um, yeah, I'm, st I'm just, I don't even, I can't focus right now for some reason. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, the walls were so dark. So I picked out a nice, beautiful, neutral color. Um, we got a new bed frame and a new bed, those bed in the bags from Nectar. It was a great deal. It arrived. We were able to put that in a new rug. And it just brightened up the room. It just feels so much better. And it's finally, and we had a bed, our bed since we moved in has been a mattress on the floor. I know I'm in my thirties. I shouldn't be sleeping on a mattress on the floor, but I had been because when we bought our house, we had been trying to have a baby and we got pregnant and we um, found out the day we closed on our house. Like we got confirmation um, ultrasounds that our um IUI worked the day we closed on our house. So it was like, we need to focus on the baby's room and he's been a toddler and that's hard. And so this was the perfect movie, but now we're, he's old enough. We're getting other projects done, but this was the biggest transformation. I feel like in our house was this bedroom and I'm so proud of it and I'm so happy we were able to do it. And now I just want to do more. And I'm so glad I was able to expose those beautiful, beautiful hardwood floors. But yeah, this cut file was perfect for it. Thanks for watching. Join the Facebook group. Check them out. Link below for the shop. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> I'm sorry about my rambling during this video. Worst voiceover ever. We'll see you next time. Bye.